So you're thinking about moving to Peoria, Arizona. Well, in today's video, I'm gonna take you on a fast map tour of two communities that I just filmed today. And you can watch those at a later time, or you can watch this map tour after you've watched both of those. So the two communities were Tierra del Rio and also West Wing Mountain. So let's get started. The first community is Tierra del Rio, and this is located again in northern Peoria. This is located really close to this 303 freeway, so it's super convenient in terms of getting anywhere in the valley in Phoenix. So I'll show you how it relates to Phoenix. So here's Phoenix here, and this is Peoria, and this is northern Peoria. So it's up north quite a ways, almost as far north as you can go. The only thing that's out here past this area is Lake Pleasant. So this is a developing and new area, so great area. Lots of shopping close by, as you can see here. You've got uh, Lowe's, Fry's, lots of restaurants, Target, Marshall's, all of that right central here. This is about two miles from your entry point uh, right down Happy Valley Road and you are in Tierra del Rio. So there's kind of two sections. There's Tierra del Rio here, Canyon at Tierra del Rio, and then you have Northlands at Tierra del Rio. So those two areas are all encompassing and pretty much the main amenities that are in this community are really just the parks, but also the Calderwood Butte Preserve. So the views out here are really pretty. A lot of these homes surround this Calderwood Butte and this trail system. So really beautiful area. You're seeing these beautiful views. There's lots of hiking trails, as you can tell. There's this you know, little parking area, and then you can obviously take this trail system and it winds itself, these trails wind all the way through the community, all the way down. Also, you have this Agua Fria River that runs right to the west of this community. So there's lots of hiking in this area. So it's really beautiful and you have great access to freeways, great access to all of this shopping. Also, healthcare is close by. So you have like pediatrics in here and hospitals are close by. So great location for this community and it's pretty much built out. The second community that we went to was called West Wing Mountain. So this community is right over here. Again, it kind of sits in a saddle of two kind of preserves uh, that they call them. It's the West Wing Mountain Preserve and the Sunrise Mountain Preserve. So it's in this beautiful saddle. There's uh, mountains on both sides. There are custom homes in here. So anywhere between, you know, 2,000 to 4,000 square feet, you might have some 1,700 square feet, all the way up into the custom homes that are on acreage, like 8,000 square feet. I think in 2022, there was a home that sold in here for like 2.7 million and it was an 8,000 square foot home and it was on a couple acres, I believe. So also but next to both of these uh, areas, you have this Paloma Community Park that I reference in those two videos. And this is it right here. It has a fishing lake. It's just up from these two communities. So they have ball fields, splash pad, pickleball, tennis courts, all of that, that you have a dog park. So that's all really close to these communities. It makes it really nice because like I said, the Tierra del Rio community doesn't really have a ton of amenities. It does have little pocket parks throughout it. But if you wanted to have a little bit more of things to do, you would just go right up the uh, Lake Pleasant Parkway here and uh, just go out here to this Paloma Community Park. So again, this is also close to all of that shopping that we had talked about earlier. So you're really close by to all the shopping. You have beautiful views here. They do have an elementary school in this community. They have a community center, the skate park, um, also lots of trails. They have this little coffee company that's right in here. This is a, a real big park in here as well. So they have a lot of open space 
and this elementary school is really pretty. It's right next to this skate park that's down here and these tennis courts that you will see in the video. You are close to a couple other schools. There is Liberty, which is south from here. You've got Liberty here, Liberty High School. And then you have Zuni Hills Elementary School. So these are the two schools that serve that Tierra del Rio community. Both of those uh, schools are, let me see, I believe they are both A-rated schools according to the AZ school report cards. So all of those schools are close by and you know, the only bummer about the Tierra del Rio is the schools aren't directly in that community, but they're not that far away from the community. And I think that's it. So in the West Wing Mountain that we were just talking about, they do have a couple lots for sale in there. One, and I'll give you just an idea of the cost of what lots are going for in there. For a one acre lot, it's 695,000 right now. It is in a gated community and I do cover that in the video. So you can see that it's called Alvamar. There also is another lot that's in there. It's an acre and a half and it's uh, 799,000 and it's in the estates of West Wing Mountain. So it's on a hillside lot. It's kind of an elevated lot as well. So really gorgeous. Again, you're close to Luke Air Force Base is about 20 miles away if you're stationed at Luke. Also, the Phoenix Airport is 32 miles away. So not too far to get to that. You, uh, if you wanted to get to Lake Pleasant, that's about 24 minutes away. So you can take those boats out there on Lake Pleasant. And then also in terms of higher elevation, you've got Prescott and Flagstaff that are up here in this area. So here's your Flagstaff. And then you've also got Sedona and Prescott. So those are all higher elevations, get you out of that heat in the summertime. So Peoria is a growing area, really beautiful. And if you have any questions, let me know. My name is Michelle Seymour and I am an Arizona realtor that covers the area west of Phoenix, also known as the West Valley. And I get phone calls and texts from people just like you every day that are thinking about making the move here to Arizona. So if that's you and you're thinking about moving in the next day, week, or even month from now, please feel free to reach out. I'd be happy to help. Thanks for joining me today.